Hi, this is CG Taiwaner Studio Tutorial. I am a Chen. In this video tutorial, I'm going to model a hair dryer. Um, in the front view, um, in the first, in the left viewport, uh, create. Um, Create a line, change the equation method, initial tie to smooth, strap tie to smooth. And um, drag a curve like, like so. Please know that this um, video tutorial require a plug-in name power nerves. So um, after we create this uh, curve, I'm going to uh, use the power nerves revolve function. to change the axis of this model of this surface Now we are going to create a surface We are going to create a We are going to create a surface for the handle like so and uh, create another curve um, go back to velocity level to modify modify the shape of the curve Now that we have a, we have a, this curve, and um, and um, I'm going to um, turn on this snap to uh, check the vertices and create a line and um, refine find the line in the middle and uh, in the top viewport in the top viewport move around the vertice <coughs> Um, maybe add uh, another, 
another um, let's see okay to uh, make a mirror of this curve this this curve will be a cross section of the surface for the um, hair dryer handle so um, use the mirror function to um, mirror it and um, attach it in into one and uh, wheel the vertice fuse and wheel fuse and wheel so this we create a um, cross section for the um, handle uh, for the surface of the handle. Now um, convert this line to nerves and attach those curve together. And um, before we create, curve, check the curve if they have a sig sig if they are segmented if not it's then it's uh, ready to um, create a two rail swap select the first rail second rail and the cross section this will create a um, surface for the I think it's uh, too thick for the handle, so I decide to modify hand the handle, so it won't be looks. too thick okay let's uh, create surface again attach, attach and uh, first rail second rail cross section okay Okay. Now, we, um, we are going to cap surface. Now in the left viewport I want to create a circle and uh, 
crash it and convert it to spline delete these two segments and um, I'm going to extrude this curve distance to um, 80 just make sure that uh, this um, surface <coughs> have a cross section with the handle now use the um, power boolean function to cut out this shape okay now we have uh, this shape um, I'm going to select this um, this part and uh, union the this uh, white and uh, the blue and check the, this model in uh, wireframe mode so um, the boolean well pretty successful now I'm going to uh, make a I'm going to uh, flip this edge so uh, use power boolean fillet and um, under the edge selection mode select this edge and uh, hit the show fillet result to see the uh, I'm sorry, last time the uh, um, fillet function are uh, unsuccessful. The reason is uh, um, is the curve that uh, um, intersecting with uh, the curve. This curve, this curve that intersecting with the um, the handle part, the blue, is uh, the curve should be if this curve are put in the front in the top the therefore the uh, failure operation will be more um well will be um be more smooth and uh, suc um will not not fail so um to solve this I'm going to recreate this uh, white surface. Um, instead of drawing a new curve, draw the redraw the curve. I'm going to use the edit edit nerves on function within power nerves, and uh, select the curve and uh, extract the curve. Now we have this curve. I'm going to mirror it. So I have uh, this curve. I will move it up and uh, use the uh, power nerves revolve function. Now I'm going to move the axis. Therefore, we'll create. create a surface for the dryer okay and um, now I'll do the I'll make I'll perform the union again to union those two parts and this time as you can see now the crease the um, I the crease the, the curve are uh, uh, at the top not in the in the bottom so this will be easier when we perform the uh, fillet 
operation. So uh, let's do it. Let's uh, let's perform the Philip operation again. So now use the power of Philip two select this edge and uh, hit the show show Philip result. Increase the radius to ten or. Oh, then we'll go back to 50. <coughs> you can use any radius that you like. I choose the um, 18. And um, I'll add more Philip. Oops. to add more Philip to this to this uh, hair dryer and uh, change the radius to 2 or 5 ok <coughs> Now we have uh, this um, uh, this uh, hair dryer, and uh, I'm going to um, um, model the mouth of this hair dryer. Show, 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 show. I'm going to create a circle and change creation type to edge. Create a circle that roughly match. Roughly match the surface that we have uh, already created. Now, um, going to create a rectangle. This rectangle will be. Will be the mouse of this uh, dryer, and I'll hide this part first, <coughs> and um, align this rectangle to the circle, and now convert it to uh, spline and select all the vertices, and uh, make fit it, and. Select the these two vertices, fuse and wheel, fuse and wheel, and I'll make this vertice make first, and for the circle, convert it to uh, edible spine, and select this vertice and make this vertice make first. Okay. <sighs> now select the both two shape and. Um, Unhide all and um, I'm going to move this curve back and move this shape forward. Hide this um, model again. Uh, maybe change 
change the color of this sh to shape so it will be easier for you to see it during the screen capture now I'm going to I'm going to create line to connect these two shapes uh, before we do that um, I think check the um, snapping check the uh, midpoint select this oops select this um, shape and uh, refine it at the middle okay now create line create line and check snapping check diversity So now we, I create uh, two lines that connect these two shapes together and um, I'm going to refine this sh refine Ref um, uh, check the middle point refine it again and uh, Um, move downward and select this line and refine and move upward. Oops. Now we have uh, this kind of a uh, shape. And uh, now, now we are ready to create a surface for the uh, mouth of this um, hair dryer. So make sure that uh, the stop point of each is the uh, first point. The first point. Of, of each uh, of each shape uh, at the same direction for this circle the star point is here and for this um, rectangle like um, shape star point is here so uh, make sure they are aligned um, well before creation Okay, now we um, use the power knobs, rest wipe function, select first shape and second shape, first rail and the and the second rail, and uh, don't panic. Um, check the uh, rotational. This will fix the fix the. Uh, resolve surface. After creation, I'm going to unhide all. <coughs> so now we uh, make this. We uh, will uh, fix this. Uh, uh, we will finish this um, shape and. Um, I'll hide this again and um, I will <coughs> I'm going to um, um, add a more feature to this uh, mouth um, create circle oops change the create method type to um, center and uh, scratch it now convert it to um, edible spine and select 
there's two segments and um, I'm going to extrude this curve As you can see, it's uh, too, too small, so I have to increase the size and uh, move back. So I'm going to cut, cut, cut the, cut, cut out the shape of this uh, mouth of a uh, hair dryer. Uh, use the power volume and intersecting. No. Maybe try union. Yeah. Um, let's create a close shape. So I have to add a power nerves edit function and select this face and delete it. Now I'll unhide all, unhide all. So I think I kind of think finish this part, and uh, um, uh, I'll add a shell uh, function to this mouth. So give a thickness to this. Uh, mouth and uh, I'll use the uh, shear distance to um, maybe two. Okay, it took a while, but uh, <coughs> the result are um, good. So I think I'll make a copy. 